Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. So as most of you already know, GoodNotes recently updated to GoodNotes 6. And today I'm coming with the tea to help you decide if this update is for you or not. There's a lot to unpack with this update, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to decide if this upgrade is worth it. So let's get into it. I want to start off with a major change for GoodNotes. It is now available across all platforms. So you can use GoodNotes on your iPad. If you're an Android user, they got you covered and you can also access it from Windows. Now let's get into one of the most talked about parts of this update. Previously, updates were included in the one-time cost of the app, but this update is a complete facelift for the app and you already know it's not coming without a price tag. But there is some good news. GoodNotes still offers the free version, which includes your three notebooks, the handwritten AI note-taking features, and you can use 20 minutes of audio recording per notebook. The free version also allows you to access some of the interactive exam practice materials. This update includes a seven day free trial and after that GoodNote 6 now requires a subscription to unlock all the features. For Apple users, the cost is $9.99 a year or a one-time fee of $29.99. For Android and Windows users, there's a flat fee of $6.99 per year after the seven day trial. Now GoodNotes didn't forget about its current users and included some discounts for the first year, depending on when you started using GoodNotes. Now y'all don't shoot the messenger with this one, but this is how they decided to give the discounts. Now there's no pressure to update to GoodNote 6. If you bought GoodNotes 5 and you sticking with it, you still have that option to do so with no additional cost. But please keep in mind, they will eventually stop pushing updates out to GoodNotes 5. If you're currently operating on the free version of GoodNotes, you still have a chance to upgrade to the paid version until September 9th. And once you've purchased the full version, you still have the option to upgrade to GoodNote 6. When logging into GoodNote 6 for the first time, you will need to create a GoodNotes account. The app will walk you through the process and you can use your Apple, Google, or Microsoft account so you won't have to keep up with yet another password. The GoodNotes account is a required step so there's no skipping it. GoodNotes received a makeover with this update and I really like the new icon for the app which now includes a smile. The home page also got a facelift. You will notice that all of my files transferred to GoodNote 6 without any issues. The toolbar for the home page has moved from the bottom of the page to the left side, and the GoodNote shop has turned into a marketplace where you can purchase and sell digital products. The marketplace has subscriber specials, which include a couple of freebies. There's also an interactive exam prep section with a built-in AI math assistant. This is probably one of the most requested features and is finally available. You can now change the color of your folders. In addition to that, to help with organization, you can now add icons to your folders. To get to the pop-up box to customize your folders, just select the drop-down arrow next to the file name. To create a new folder, select the plus sign in the new box, and once you get the pop-up, select folder. Here you can give your file a name, select the color of the folder, add an icon, and then hit done. When creating notebooks in GoodNotes, you can now customize your notebook templates to any color that you want. To create a notebook, select the plus sign in the new box and then notebook. In the pop-up box, you have the option to customize your notebook. There have been some new notebook covers added in GoodNotes and you also have the option to go to the marketplace and select a cover. Some of the covers even offer different color options that you can choose from. Once you've selected your cover, you can choose the template you would like to add. To customize the color, select the drop-down next to color. In the pop-up box, select Customize Template. Here you will have the option to change the background color as well as the color of any lines on the template. You can use the color grid, spectrum, sliders, or add a hex code to customize the color. Once you've completed all of your customizations, select Apply and then Create. Now you have a notebook. If you wanna add more pages to your notebook, select the page with the plus sign from the toolbar and more templates. The possibilities with your notebooks now are endless. There have been some changes to the toolbars in GoodNotes. The top toolbar has less icons. The waffle icon and the search option still remain to the left-hand side, but now there are three icons in the middle with different modes that you can use. The first one is the pen, which is set up similar to the editing toolbar we're used to in GoodNotes 5. The keyboard opens the typing mode and the microphone opens the recorder. Now to change between read and edit mode, you will need to select one of the three options in the middle to turn it on and again to turn it off. 
There have also been some changes made to the editing toolbar. The undo and redo have moved to the editing toolbar and the zoom option has moved beside the text tool. The new AI feature now recognizes your handwriting. Now when you have an error, the AI will recognize it, offer you a correction, and rewrite it in your own handwriting. The scribble feature has now been added to your pen tool, so instead of having to erase a word when you've made a mistake, you can just scribble over the word and it'll erase it for you. Another pen gesture that was added is the circle to lasso option. You can now circle anything on your page, hold in the circle, and it'll automatically switch you to the lasso tool. From here, you can even convert your handwriting. For anyone taking a math course, you can also use the circle to lasso feature to convert to math. Now, if you've completed the free trial of GoodNotes 6 and you decide that you want to go back to GoodNotes 5, you can do that. You always have the option to switch back and forth between 6 and 5. From the GoodNotes home screen, select the bolt in the right-hand corner. Go to Settings and then Downgrade. Toggle off Run GoodNotes version 6. Continue to Downgrade and select OK. And you will automatically go back to GoodNotes 5. And I checked, once I downgraded, I got to keep the notebook that I created in GoodNotes 6. Alright, that's all I have for y'all today. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm not here to persuade you to sign up for GoodNotes 6, but I wanted to provide you with enough information that you can make the best decision for you. I'm currently using the free trial and I will say there's no harm in test driving GoodNotes 6 to see if you even like the upgrade. Let me know in the comments what you decide. Alright y'all, till next time.